Hi, this is Pastor Rick. I'd like to read another story to you. It's in John chapter 21. And this is again a story after Jesus Christ rose from the tomb. And he was appearing by the Sea of Galilee, one of his favorite places. It says, After these things, Jesus manifested himself again to the disciples at the Sea of Tiberias. And he manifested himself in this way. Simon Peter and Thomas, called Didymus and Nathanael of Cana and Galilee, and the sons of Zebedee and two others of his disciples were together. Simon Peter said to, to them, I'm going fishing. They said to him, We will also come with you. And they went and out and got into the boat that, that night, but they caught nothing. And when the day was now breaking, Jesus stood on the beach, yet the disciples did not know that it was Jesus. So Jesus said to them, Children, you do not have any fish, do you? They answered him, No. And he said to them, Cast the net on the right side of the boat, and you will find a catch. So they cast, and then they were not able to haul it in because of the great number of fish. Therefore that disciple whom Jesus loved said to Peter, It is the Lord. So when Simon Peter heard that it was the Lord, he put his outer garment on, for he was stripped for work, and threw himself into the sea. But the other disciple came in the little boat, for they were not far from the land, but about 100 yards away, dragging the net full of fish. So when they got out on the land, they saw a charcoal fire already laid and fish placed on it and bread. And Jesus said to them, Bring some of the fish which you've now caught. Simon Peter went up and drew the net to land full of large fish, 153. And although there were so many, the net was not torn. Jesus said to them, Come and have breakfast. Now the disciples ventured to question him, Who are you, knowing that it was the Lord? Jesus came and took the bread and gave it to them, and the fish likewise. This is now the third time that Jesus was manifested to the disciples after he was raised from the dead. So when they had finished their breakfast, Jesus said to Simon Peter, Simon of Peter, do you love me more than these? And I was thinking it was interesting that uh, Jesus Christ showed himself to his disciples multiple times to give them evidence that he was the same Jesus who had been with them before, the same Jesus who was crucified, the same one who rose again. And here he is, I think it's a cool story, standing on the beach, watching them fish. They come in, they haven't they got any fish. He sends them back out again, they get the net full, 153 fish. And he's already got a fire prepared. Uh, Jesus wouldn't have prepared a fire if he didn't know there were going to be fish. In fact, when they came back, he already had fish on the on the fire cooking, and invited them to eat breakfast with him. And uh, Jesus, the whole time, uh, was demonstrating to them it was really Jesus physically present. He rose physically, not just spiritually, because he's going to have breakfast and eat fish with them. Okay, and. Uh, they had not been able to catch any fish until they obeyed him and cast the net on the other side of the boat. I got to think these fishermen were thinking, you're nuts. You know, we've been fishing all night, didn't catch anything. You think one more cast is going to come up with any fish? Well, maybe a few. And then the net almost broke. It was so full of fish. There are still people today who do not believe in Jesus Christ and do not accept what these disciples had to be shown repeatedly before they got it as well, that Jesus Christ really is the Son of God. He actually died for our sin. He was buried. He rose again. And by putting our faith and trust in Him, we can receive forgiveness and eternal life. And to top that off, the best friend that you and I will ever have, the Son of God Himself. You can trust Him. Please think about it, that you need to have a relationship with him and you can have one by putting your faith in him. You will never regret when you give your life to Jesus Christ because he gives you his. God bless you.